Hello, just as a follow up to my building my uh, home theatre PC, I just wanted to uh, uh, share with you the couple of ways that I control I control it uh, re remotely. Uh, first of all, as you can see, well, as you might be able to see, there's a dongle on the USB port uh, uh, at the front of this, and I've got a keyboard which you can't see, and I'm just going to put it into shot now, which um, has got a, like a, a pad on it, like a mouse tab on a laptop, and an ordinary keyboard. Which which works fine. It's great, but it does have limited range. I mean, my set is only like three meters away from the uh, um, from the actual uh, PC. And while it works, it seems to struggle. The nearer you get, the better it is. And that's with new batteries installed as well. Um, so I'll just just get that and show you quickly. I mean, uh, where are we? There, there you go. And you can see the mouse moving, and we can go to the Windows 8. Uh, thing there, which is which is great, but also a better way that I've found, and it's very very cheap if you've got an Android phone, and that is to use uh, a thing called Unified Remote, and uh, you you download the server onto your PC there. It starts up when um, when the Windows starts, and then and then you can use your phone, which I'll I'll do now. My Galaxy S3, and I'll um, where are we? Here we are. And I'll use the uh, unified remote if it's going to work straight off. When I can find it, of course. Here we go. Here's the unified remote. And service. So that's the TV one. Okay. And then we can go to remotes. Now, you've got your basic input. You've got your... Right then, uh, here we go. This is the... Uh this is the app on my Galaxy S3. It will work on any Android device. I think it says uh, uh, Android 2.3 or a, or a later. And it, work, it can work through Wi-Fi or it can work through um, Bluetooth uh, to the actual PC. So um, if I go into basic input, there you go. You, you've got, got your mouse there. It's moving around on the screen. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. Let's go over here. Um, so you can see the mouse move in. You just hit the keyboard as you normally would. On, on, on your phone and you've got keyboard as well and you can turn it obviously the other way in this case to make it easier but not only that um, you also have um, other remotes so you've got like one for Chrome in particular so you can you can then zoom in as you can see zooming in on on the uh, on the thing uh, minus you got you got all sorts of uh, other remotes um, you know, for Firefox, for all the major applications, for Media Player, different keyboards, different languages, different uh, web browsers, Office stuff, and even got power to shut it down, the Start menu, um, and so on. Actually, in fact, I wonder how that works with Windows 8. I think there's actually a Windows 8 um, uTorrent text allowed yet, and other programs, but there's even a Windows 8. Um, uh, here we go, Windows 8 uh, navigation thing. So if we're in Windows 8, which I'm not, so let's go back to the normal control, hit the mouse at the button. Let's go and get Windows 8 up. And, and there's the Windows 8, so you can just, you know, scroll along like into the different um, things like that. You can snap it right, whatever you got open. You can, what does that do? Oh, that takes you back to the desktop, which is really handy. So it is a bit of a, well, not much of a learning curve. It's quite straightforward. So um, I highly, highly, re highly recommend this if you've got a, obviously you will have a Wi-Fi network if you've got a, a home theater PC, most likely. Um, and it's only two pound from the from the uh, uh, Google Play Store, and I think it's re really good uh, value for money. Um, I haven't tried it if it'll work just from boot up straight away, like to actually log into Windows 8. So maybe that's something that we should actually try now. But I dare say the server won't start running until Windows 8 actually starts. But there may be an option, or they may be working on that. So you know, so check check out the website. Um, and uh, I have no connection with these people uh, uh, whatsoever. Just a really useful thing if you've got a home theatre PC or a laptop even. That you plug into your TV, etc. You want to show slideshows of your of your family when the uh... right. Just gonna just gonna try to see if I can um, let's get this in line again. See if I let's go to power wherever it is. Power. Let's see if we can restart it. See if it works straight off. So let's just restart it. 
Right, it's restarting. The connection's lost. So I gather it won't. Doesn't Windows boot quick with an SSD drive? There you go. Uh, but we can't. No, there's no connection. So, but there might be a setting where you can have it start up. You know, I don't when it gets to this point, but I don't think so at the present time. Something that I'd have to look into. I think it would be pretty standard if it did, and you wouldn't have to alter the settings. I doubt they can do that at the moment. Anyway, so a fantastic application. So I'll have to log in the normal way with my uh, with my keyboard, and uh, I won't record my password on screen. And then once, um, I wonder if it'll work actually now. How long it does take to work? Let's, so we're still retrying to connect, so. Oh, I think it's done it. Yeah, it's in. So just sign in with your normal keyboard, and that's it, you're, you're up and running, because this thing started up. Now let's have a look at this, what there is. Uh, what settings have we got? Start server on system start. So yes, that's probably about it. That's as early as you can start it. Somebody may be able to comment on uh, on why it can't be started any earlier, so you can log in with it. Probably good security reasons, no doubt. It says you can password protect it. You've got all these different remotes you can check and uncheck to make life a bit simpler. So there's applications you haven't got, or no way you're going to have on there then you can um, just stop them from uh, being on the screen here. And these are the logs and about. Highly recommended. As soon as you've got a tablet, it's even better because you've got a much bigger, bigger screen, obviously, to, uh, uh, to have a remote on. So there you go. Keyboard Russian. Even file manager. Drive C, what does that do? Nothing, you must have to have it running. Anyway, that's enough for now. Thank you for watching and speak to you next time. Bye bye.